Welcome to the latest PvP series. In this series, Rog and myself will start fresh accounts, play by Iron Man rules, and have to get as many collection slots as possible, because every collection slot filled gives us a spin on the randomizer. The randomizer allows us to spin any item in the game that we can wear for a future fight. At the end of every episode, whatever is on your randomizer, you get to keep forever. This episode, the randomizer will be capped at level 50 items and lower, but every episode this rises by 10 levels. The winner of today's fight will get 25k XP to use in any skill of their choice. And for the loser, they'll receive 20k XP. Let the games begin. Bees and G's, welcome back to episode 2. If you missed episode 1, which is very likely because YouTube decided to age restrict uh, episode 1. Uh, and I absolutely fought tooth and nail to try and get it unrestricted, but it was unsuccessful. So they effectively stopped showing it to anyone on YouTube and you had to manually find it uh, if you wanted to watch it, which was a big shame. So I'll leave a link to the playlist in the top right corner. That will take you to episode one and then fire you straight back into this episode. So you'll be all caught up. Uh, it's a shame we have to do it this way, but yeah. So if you haven't watched it, that is the place to go now. This is where I put my XP. Um, I had 15k from winning the last episode, so I got 10 Herblore, I got 25 Agility, and I got 23 Prayer. That's where I put my XP. There's a few things further down the line that that's going to help with. Uh, the 25 Agility is going to help instantly right now, um, and the 10 Herblore is going to help in this episode as well. Um, and I'm sure the Prayer will come in handy, and hopefully we can push towards some of those Protection Prayers as well um, very soon. So, I'm going to start this timer. And we're going to start chopping some trees because I've got to get myself six logs to uh, start the tree gnome village or at least carry on with it. We did actually start it in the last episode because uh, I was running past anyway. I did go ahead and start it. But yeah, we're just going to... I'm cutting these trees incredibly quick for one wood cutting. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this. So let's get tree gnome village done. All right, guys. Welcome to episode two. We lost last episode, but I feel incredibly strong about my episode one plan, and I'm feeling even better about my episode two plan. Now, before I get into my plan, we still got 12.5k to put into stats, 2.5k in attack, 5k in strength, 5k in defense. Uh, HP is like free in a sense where if we are getting any combat skills, HP, we don't count. So just FYI, and I also wanted to make sure I trained some stats because my HP was really low and I figured we can definitely get some HP, which we did. Uh, we got like four levels in it, or three. We got three levels in it. I think we were 26. So that is where we're looking like. Of course, we're starting off with the same gear. We didn't spin any randomizer, but that should change in this episode. Now, I want to focus a lot on this episode of just simply training, getting my stats up, but also going for some collection log slots because I would like some upgrades. I don't want to spend all this time getting upgrades in game, like, you know, killing fire giants, for example, because kind of a waste of time when we have all these spins that we can collect. So in this episode, I'm going to focus on just killing pretty low level monsters, getting collection log slots, and hopefully getting some good gear on the randomizer. Also, I would really like to get 32 quest points, maybe in this episode possibly so i can do dragon slayer in the next episode because it does give 18k strength and 18k defense and that is a lot of freaking xp um also wearing a room plate body would be freaking awesome because it's super common on the randomizer because there's like 15 different types of room plate bodies so that was a mouthful let's get started first up we're gonna go kill some hill giants we gotta take the long way because we don't have the brass key yet we're gonna pick that up and we're also then going to bank every single bone that we get because I do want to take it up to the Chaos Altar to get as much XP as possible. Now, during this grind, I don't think I'm going to get anywhere near 43 prayer. But even if I get unlucky with the Giant Key, which is why I'm coming here, not to kill Obor, I just want the Collection Lock Slot. I want my first one. Um, but even if we get unlucky, it just means we're getting more prayer, we're getting more combat XP. And of course, that is usually the most important thing. We're going to start by training Strength. Probably won't even touch defense. Maybe a few levels in strength and keep going for attack. I would love to get as many attack levels as I possibly can. Because if we start spinning on the randomizer, I might get some 50 attack weapons. So literally maybe 35 strength and switch right to attack. I don't like our weapon. It's a bit slow, but we'll, we'll see how slow it is. I'm actually taking a decent amount of damage. 
we'll see we'll see right so now that we are just chilling here killing some hill giants i have some time to think and i i want to explain to you guys exactly how i want to approach this series i don't want to just try to unlock as many collection logs as i possibly can because if I do that, it really distracts me from other important things on the account, like some quests that are crucial and just training in general. I mean, training is going to be really important. If I just focus on collection log unlocks, I might have good gear. But guess what? I'm not going to be able to wear that good gear. And even if I can, I'm not going to have the best stats to match that gear. So I think the best way to approach this series, at least now, obviously like five episodes from now, Maybe things get completely different. I I really can't even think that far ahead. But for right now, the next few episodes, I'm going to focus on getting my stats up as much as possible and going for those slower collection log unlocks. So train all episode, but only kill things that can drop us spins on the randomizer. Just like this. After this, I'm going to go kill moss giants to try and get a moss C key because it also increases my combat and it gets up my prayer level makes me stronger in the fight so we just home tellied because i need to get more kebabs the kebabs i had were a carryover from last episode i'll probably just get like two inventories worth um and then of course just keep killing those hill giants i thought about buying a myth simi here because that'd be a huge upgrade because it's a four tick weapon but i'm gonna hold off because i'm not far away from an addy sword and i can get that right in varrock so We'll probably have to do like one more inventory to ultimately get the amount needed if I'm selling some of the drops I get. So one more inventory, buy Addy Sword, and then we're cruising. All right, this is going to be Tree Gnome Village completed, which gives us the amulet. It also gives us some nice XP. Um, they do this little weird dance trance thing. Don't know what's going on. The balls go back onto the tree. Happy days. That's where the balls want to be and boom 11,000 xp we also get the tree gnome oh 40 attack wow nice very nice uh we also get the tree we can travel with the tree spirit i don't think we can go to the stronghold right now oh we can is it just we can't leave i think we just can't leave that's really nice uh i know kin's got this last episode so you guys have already seen this but this does give 13 stab slash and crush defense it's insane for a melee defense uh, necklace. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and now do the uh, Grand Tree, which is great that we were able to just literally come straight here um, and use that telly because we can just complete the quest here now. We are midway through the Grand Tree and I just got myself a dunce, which is very nice. Yeah, I'm not sure which skill I'm gonna put that into just yet. I'm gonna have a little think, I might keep that until I've got a few more levels, to be honest. Coming to the end of the Grand Tree quest here, and this is the exact reason why I got 25 agility. So we could do that, because uh, you do need 25 agility to climb up that tree. And I didn't really fancy doing agility in the time, because it, that took about, I don't know, 45 minutes, maybe a little bit more, um, while I was just doing it, you know, to get my XP reward. So it just saved a little bit of time there. Um, and the other stuff I feel like, like combat and stuff, I'm going to do anyway. So the agility felt like it was worth doing. We found the rock. Let's go ahead and complete the quest. This is going to give us some naughty XP um, in agility, magic, and attack, I think. We'll see if those go up. Boom. 18,000 attack, 7,900 agility, 2,100 magic. That takes us to 31 agility, uh, which is sick. 44 attack and 26 magic, which is huge because that means I can now tell it to Varrock. Um, and obviously there's a tree in the Grand Exchange. So I can tell it to Varrock, which is obviously just huge in itself. And then on top of that, we can then use the tree to get around to loads of different places. That um, quest also unlocks, and I might use it right now, um, all of the glider options or at least all of the ones before like monkey madness 2 and stuff like that uh, so we can now use the glider as well um which is quite helpful gets us around to loads of different places i'm going to go ahead and use this glider option so that we can get over to camelot because we're going to now do merlin's crystal and holy grail try not to get absolutely banged out by the wolves but yeah just a super helpful way of getting around now just opens up so many more tellies and i don't have to do so much running um and then on top of that the agility just you know being better is good as well that's going to mean we are just just slightly more efficient every single time we play the account 
which will obviously add up over the hours. So the higher we can get this bad boy, the better. Right, it's time to attack Sir Mordred. Imagine fucking dying here, guys. <laughs> Imagine dying. Imagine dying, kids. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's pretty much quest completed. Return to Catherby. You will still need bat bones. You can kill one on the way out. Cool. Let's do it. Don't die now. Don't die now. Merlin's crystal completed. Sick. Don't really get anything from that other than the Excalibur. Um, and we are now going to start the Holy Grail. Do I need to get anything? Not really. Other than Tellies, Possibly an anti-poison. I'm going to risk it and say that I'm not going to get poisoned. Uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, cool. Let's do Holy Grail. And then I'm pretty much on the end. I don't think I've got any more quests I specifically want to do. Actually, I do. I'm, I'm talking complete bollocks. Um, we want to do Dig Site after this. Talking of not doing any more quests, I'm actually going to do one quickly before we do Holy Grail. I'm going to do Monk's Friend, and that's not for any reason other than you get eight lore runes from do for doing the quest, and that will give me eight tellies, which I can use sparingly and make sure I can get around a little bit. Um, I can buy more lore runes in the wilderness if I really want to, so it's not like lore runes are hard to come by, but I might as well do the quest, get the lore runes, and then carry on. This is going to take like a couple minutes, and I'm literally... It's over there, isn't it, where you start the quest, so might as well get it done. There we go. Cheeky little party. Enjoy ourselves, and we should get ourselves eight law runes coming our way. I think I started this recording a little bit too early. It's getting a bit weird, isn't it? Sort of staring into each other's eyes very aggressively. 2,000 woodcutting XP. That's going to give me 14 woodcutting. That will definitely come in handy at some point as well. Uh, and the eight law runes, which... Uh... If I put the fire staff on, I was about to say, I've got a fire staff. We can now tell you to Varrock, which is helpful. Um, right, let's get back onto Holy Grail. Yes, I got poisoned. Thankfully, we will take no damage attacking the Black Knight Titan here. We're just going to do the old boom. This is going to take forever, so I will see you in a bit. I might actually go to Slash because I've got 40 attack now. I'd rather get the uh, strength up. We're getting close. We are getting close, guys. I don't know when I started. I remember looking at the clock and seeing 27. I don't know if that's when I started. But it's taken at least six minutes right now. Come on. Come on. I'll spec for Camelot. I know some of you would think you've got runes in your inventory. Why don't you just mage it? It has a thousand magic defense. Like, that's that's just stupid high defense. That's higher than most bosses have. So, maging it really isn't an option. I'm sure I'd hit every so often. But it's just a waste of the runes. So, that's why we didn't do that. Boom. Is that dead? Yes. And what do we get? We get 38 GP. Not bad. That actually could be helpful if I want to take the boat back from Brimhaven. Talk to the fisherman. Okay. Sick. Right, I'm going to use my first chain of teleports here. So I'm going to teleport to Varrock. And then I am going to run up to the tree in the GE. Go to the gnome stronghold. And then... That star's still there. Nice. Um, then from here, we're going to go up here. Use the glider to get to White Wolf Mountain. And then go to Camelot. Now, I know that's like... There's a lot of steps. But fuck me, is that quicker than doing all the other stuff. So having the grand tree quest done and being able to use all of or at least i guess the gnome quest line being able to use all of these like ways of getting around so so helpful honestly uh, that would have taken forever to get here um so yeah beautiful stuff yeah i got poisoned again all right guys holy grail is going to be completed it took a lot longer than i thought it was going to to be honest but this is going to be mad good for the levels here we go 11,000 pro xp 15,300 defense Literally went from, what, 23 to 32 prayer there and 5 defense to 31. Absolutely massive. Right, dig site. Let's do it. And then bone voyage. And then that should be all of the things I need to do done. I actually need to get some items together for this, which is a bit annoying. Um, yeah. I'm definitely going to get collection slogs, slots this episode as well, guys. Uh, Varrock, fuck it. We'll use, a, we'll use a telly. Yeah, I've definitely got one lined up already, um, which some of you have probably already worked out. Um, but we will get that plus hopefully some more. Um, let me get these items together. They're actually a little bit annoying. Like cup, cup of tea we can get. Pestle mortar, vial, rope, opal, charcoal. Yeah. The opal we can get from hand members. And that does give us a chance of getting an easy clue. 
So you know what? We'll go to hand members next, and I'll try and get an opal. And if we get an easy clue, we'll start doing them, and maybe we can get some collection slogs that way as well. All right, so we need just about 2k. We're not quite there yet, but I'm going to sell some stuff. I wanted to run down to um, Barbarian Village to chuck those in, but it just seems a bit far away. How much is he going to sell for it? Not bad. Um, we're going to, you know, let's sell one more of these and hop, sell the rest, and we'll sell that to the same shop we're going to buy the Addy Sword from. This might be really annoying if I buy this sword and then instantly spin a weapon and get a better upgrade, but we can always sell this back, alk it. Well, I guess I can't alk, but you know what I mean. But we can always get money back with the Adi sword, and you can make the argument that I'm using this to kill hill giants a lot quicker, which got my upgraded weapon quicker. I love how I'm acting like one spin is going to equal a better weapon. I could get like a bronze dagger from that spin. So it could be pointless, but that's the excitement about this series is that when you get spins, you're not guaranteed a good item. Not by a long shot. Is that a shield upgrade? Look at that. I forgot they even dropped this. I was expecting to get my shield upgrade when I go to Moss Giants, but no more wooden shield for me. Should I dabble with this? I might. There's a whole like 10 hour rule or something. So I'm not going to do it now because this account has not been playing for over 10 hours, but we'll bank that. And next episode, we'll be able to do that and get a unique. Yes. 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 Let's go to the bank so we can do it on our unlock. And then we're going right to Moss Giants. We're going to spin weapon, baby. We just wanted the collection log slot and... Oh, it said zero real quick. Did you see that? I had like update. Almost scared me for a second. I was like, I definitely just showed up there. Stoked. Okay. Let's get let's get to the bank and pause the timer because we can pause our spinning. Okay, we got the randomizer up. We need to set all of the levels from zero to fifty because it's episode two. Episode one was to forty max. This is to episode fifty max. And yeah, so that's kind of cool. I mean, it would be great to get like a whip early on, but obviously we won't be able to wear it anyway. So we can't get anything over 50 attack because I am going to be spinning for a weapon. We only get one spin, guys. Fuck! <laughs> I don't even... Do I get like unlimited of that? I don't really know how that works. To be honest. I'm one range anyway, and I don't want to focus on range okay it's fine it's fine <laughs> it's fine <laughs> so just got done speaking to link uh we decided on a hundred that you get if you roll an item like this uh to be honest i am one range i really don't want to go range in this series um we, we should get a mossy key relatively quick so i'm not even gonna bother getting this because i'm probably gonna roll right over it we only get to keep it into the next episode if that is the last thing that we landed on for that episode so, yeah, pretty much it's a, it's a waste of a spin, honestly. Just to clarify, because I don't think I was clear in that last clip, I if I wanted to, and let's just assume I had five range, I could use those knives up until I spin again. But if I override that spin, I'd have to get rid of the knives. So we made it here to the Moss Giants. Now, the reason I'm in the Wildy is I believe the drop rates are literally cut in two. Ooh, looting bag. Nice. Not that I will probably use that, really. But uh, it does mean I can bring a full inventory of food next time. I totally forgot. They changed all, all the looting bag drops to like 1 in 3 or something. From these guys, it's probably more like 1 in 10. Um, I mean, I actually have the wiki open right now. It's 1 in 3. I was right. Um, I think my odds here are going to be 1 in 60. That's what it says if I'm killing them in the wildy. If I was on task, it would be 1 out of 33. But I, I mean, I guess maybe I could have gone a task real quick. Um, but it's not really worth it. Not gonna lie, these guys are kicking my ass. I don't think kebabs are gonna cut it. Maybe I'll head up to Artie, thieve just a whole bunch of cake. And then when I do bank and have a bunch of food in the bank, um, it's it's gonna be Ferox. And I mean, I could telly back here. I completely forgot I can just telly right here, to be honest. But So I didn't use that telly yet. Um, and there's that pool here, so I can replenish every trip. But obviously I still need food here. I don't have the prayer level needed. The bones I have in the bank, are nowhere near enough to get me to uh, 70 or 70. 43 prayer. Wow, no, we're not getting putty anytime soon, guys. Bro, I literally went all the way to Artie. Got 100 cakes together to come back to get a mossy key on quite literally my first kill back. It's fine, though. But obviously, it's great news. In 15 kills, we got it. So incredibly lucky. 
Incredibly lucky. We're heading right to the bank because we're going to spin for yet again another weapon. At the bank, we're going to pause the timer. There really is nothing to say here. I'll just take any rune weapon or any granite weapon and I will be stoked. It could be a rune 2H and I'll be stoked because that's probably better DPS than this. It only has a 24 uh, strength bonus, which is kind of butt. Oh, all right, guys. Let's do this. Please, 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 please. I don't even know why I try. I could pick that up in Falador. I could thieve a man and buy it in about four seconds. <laughs> That's the rules. That's the rules. All right, let's uh, let's, let's put this away and head, head to our next monster. We got a clue, guys. We got a clue. Hasidious. Ugh. I don't really have an easy way to get to Hasidious. Is the uh, is the problem? I guess I guess we can just go to. We'll go to Baos. Go on then. We'll do it. We'll see if we can pull some collection log. I mean, if I pull like two collection log slots in one clue, I'll be buzzing that I did it. So we're going to do it. we got a few other things as well that will be useful. Bees and Gs, we have our first casket. Let's go ahead and open it. Let's see if we get any collection slots. Come on. Oh, that's... Uh, at least I got some lore rune. Literally second pickpocket back, I get another one. Uh, Falador. I think I'm going to try and get the opal and then I'll do it. But we will give it another go. I'll do the clue. I'll do the clue. First step was in this house. Second step is in this house. Fucking incredible. We could actually get the clue here as well. Which would be insane. No, we don't get it. Uh, oh, no. Hand boots, bronze, 2H sword, and a blue wizard hat. I can get all of that. Uh, yeah, I can get all of that. Bronze 2H, I can get in Tavli, and I've got to go to Tavli anyway for the dig site. I've got to buy a vial and a pestle and mortar. Um, the blue wizard hat we can just buy as well. And the ham boots we'll get from stealing from hams. So, you know what? I will get all of these items, and it means in a future episode or a future clue, we'll be, uh, we'll be set. Alright, i got everything I need except the ham boots, which we're obviously going to get um, while we thieve again. But... This is something, little little secret thing here, guys. I have actually collected one of the collection log slots, and that was while I was doing the Draenor agility, because um, obviously I needed to do it to get my agility up for my XP, and we got a Mark of Grace. We actually got several. I think I had about 12 or something, and obviously I didn't pick any of them up because it wasn't within the timer time, um, but now I am going to go and get a Mark of Grace, which will be my technically my first collection log, but yeah. Um, obviously it's not going to pop up as a new thing because I, I got it, but there's the screenshot of me getting it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to quickly do a few rooftops here until we get a Mark of Grace, and then we will have one spin on the randomizer. Um, I think I'll save that spin, um, for after this clue just to see if we get anything, um, you know, from this clue scroll, and then maybe we'll have like two collection logs or three to use. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to save it until after this, but we need to get it first. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. It feels like when I was doing my XP, it was like every lap I was getting one, but it's that whole, like, you have a less chance if you're 20 levels above, if you're 20 levels above the agility course, like requirement, don't you? Uh, okay. Maybe I don't do this right now then. If that's going to go red, it's not, um... Yeah, because we can use the Varrock. So I'll probably use... Next time I'm in Varrock, I'll do that. And then we can do that. Finally! That actually took a stupid amount of time. Okay. Uh, Tavoli. Let's go to Bothorpe and walk to Tavoli. Or run to Tavoli from there. Sick! We can do this clue. And hopefully this will be the last step. There is a possibility it's another one, I think. I'll check the steps after we've tallied. Here we go. Boom. Give me the clue. Oh, the casket. No! Oh, fuck off. I'm angry. I'm angry. Right, I'm doing the fucking dig site. All right, this is going to be dig site completed. Boom. 15,000 mining XP, 2,000 herbal XP. Takes us to 31 mining. That is mad. 17 herbal coming in as well. Uh, and bone voyage, I've just remembered literally right now. I need like 100 kudos. So that ain't going to happen right now. Um, but that's something for the future. That's going to be helpful for collection logs. Um, when we do get there. So, right now, I'm now going to try and focus on getting some gear, sell some stuff in my bank, because I've got a load of stuff that I can sell, um, and just trying to focus on getting this fight 
in my favor because right now i don't think it is kins was 44 combat last episode i'm not even that i'm 42 right now so i could have tallied to varok but i'm not gonna waste i'm not gonna waste it i'm not going to I'm going to get myself gear ready, and then I'm going to try and work out how I want to go about this. Do I want to do mage? Do I want to go melee? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I could even try and push that. I used the uh, book on prayer, by the way, in the end. Probably not the best idea, but I want to get these protection prayers as quickly as possible. So that's why I did that. Um, before I do all that, though, we're going to go get a Mark of Grace from Varrock. And I'm going to get my first my first randomizer spin. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that now. Finally, it's taken four rooftop laps for us to get a Mark of Grace. It's somewhere now. Where are you, where are you hiding? It's got to be over there, doesn't it? Um, once we pick this bad boy up, that will be our first collection log slot. And I'm able to actually roll something, which would be lovely. Jesus Christ. There it is, you beautiful little collection log slot. There we go. Okay, let me just finish this. And then we'll get the uh, randomizer up. All right, so I have thought long and hard about how I want to do or use the randomizer. So in this episode, the max level we can get for an item is 50. So if I like spin the, you know, weapon slot, I'm not going to get a dragon scimitar. I'm not going to get a whip. I'm not going to get anything because the max is 50. So I'm going to play this a bit smarter. So I thought you going ring or amulet is the way to go because... We could get like a Berserker Ring, we could get Glories, Fury, stuff like that. All stuff we can wear at level 1. And I think the better one is the Necklace here. So we're going to go for a Necklace slot. Let's see what we get. Oh! <laughs> no way! No! Oh no! Oh my god, that's insane. That is so good. I'm so happy I did that and I didn't fuck around with something else here. Oh, man, we can put a Fury on the account. That's not only just good for fights, that's good for in general. Like, we're going to be so much more accurate for training and killing shit. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm buzzing. I am so buzzing with that. That's insane. Oh, my God, guys, right. I don't know what I want to do now. I've got to get, I've got to get my shit together. Um, I'll probably actually... I'll pause the clock. And I'm going to put the Fury on the account. So I'm just going to get my main here to drop it off. Oh my god. I'm so buzzing. And. <laughs> this beautiful, beautiful Fury from Mark of Grace. You love to see it. Let's chuck this bad boy on. Oh my god. I mean, it was on the randomizer. So you could see the stats there. But 15 in all defense. 10 in all attack. And, of course, we get the melee strength of eight and the prayer. Oh, my God. It's so good. So good. I have to I have to go melee now. I have to. Eight melee strength. That's insane. All right. <sighs> I mean, there's a very good chance Kin's got one of these as well because they're not that rare. They're really not. But just a, just a one ticket is huge. So, so big. A massive thank you to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. You might have heard me mention Raycon's anniversary sale before. This year, Raycon is turning six. In that time, Raycon has made a name for themselves in the premium audio space. And this past year, they've expanded their entire business with the introduction of Raycon Home and Raycon Powertech. So needless to say, there's a lot to celebrate. To thank everyone for the support over the last six years, Raycon is giving 20% off everything and 40% off select products. I can certainly tell how Raycon made a name for themselves in the past six years. You're getting premium audio for half the price of everything else. They fit perfectly and they're so useful. Over the last few years, we've been doing Raycon shake tests. So here you go. Here's another one. They're not coming out. They are not coming out. They also come with a 32-hour battery life and have 78,000 five-star reviews. I love using them when I'm on a dog walk, especially as they have no wires because it just means I can pop them out, pop them in, happy days. So to pick up the biggest sale of the year, go now to buyraycon.com slash linksocarina and use code BIRTHDAY to get 20 to 40% off site-wide. I probably should have come here first because these guys drop the skull right half of the skull scepter. There's four total pieces, one on every floor, so it's really easy to get like the first two. 
with my stacks. The other two might be a bit tricky, but this should be another two collection log slots really fast at the very least. And I doubt these guys are going to damage me. So when we get the skull scepter, right half for the skull, we're probably going to go to the bank, roll for weapon, and then literally, hopefully take my upgraded weapon and then go to the next floor and go for like the scepter bottom. I think it is. I don't know which one it is. Uh, I was reviewing my footage, so I didn't get the pop-up, but you can see it right there. Added to my collection log. Boom. Three out of 1,477. Honestly, guys, I'm probably going to just save the roll because I don't want to waste time walking to the bank. So, fuck that. Change the plans. We're just going to go to the second floor because we should get that really quickly anyway. Oh my god, I am getting so lucky. Everything I kill is under drop rate. I'm just not getting lucky with the spins. Although we only spun twice. Like, it's very easy to get unlucky with two spins. Can I just walk up this way? <gasps> Let's fucking go. Let's go to the bank. All right, guys, we have two spins. Best case scenario. Best case scenario, we get like a, like a granite hammer, which I wouldn't be able to wear, but I'd rather get a granite hammer than like a rune simi, to be honest, because that will last me for a few episodes. It's the best in slot item. Woo, but... We're looking for just a good weapon. And then we're probably going to go to the third level of the stronghold and try to get another piece. The The last one, we're definitely not going to chase because I got to kill like Ankus and I will just get slapped sideways. So, oh, okay. Two, two rolls. We have two rolls. We have two rolls. Dude, 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 dude. I like, I like, I know it's not like super common to get exactly what I want in three rolls, but th they're all just such troll items. Okay. All right. We get one more. We get one more. We get one more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> These guys don't hit too bad, but they are really slow kills, so... I might just try to kill a few more and then leave, to be honest. We'll, we'll assess the situation, but it doesn't look like I'll probably get this one. Oh, a medium clue. Okay. Uh, can I even do the first step? I can. Uh, no, we don't want to attack the spiders. The spiders don't drop it. Uh, I actually fucking hate it here. I've only killed six in all this time. Uh, I mean, I could stay here and I could get another unlock, but the problem is it's just too slow. I could easily get higher stats in an episode or two down the line. I mean, even next episode, when I have a better weapon, hopefully, fingers crossed, I could probably come down here. So, you know what? We're going to kill two more, and then we'll just try to do this clue scroll. And then after that, we're going to divert our attention elsewhere. All right, this is going to be the completion of step two. So, if we can do step three, that might mean we can finish the clue. Uh... Yeah, I'm not getting Mithril Boots anytime soon. These two are actually quite easy to get. Mithril Boots, though. All right, we have 86 bones from the Moss Giants and Hill Giants that we killed. So we're going to use all those. We're going to see how close that gets us to 43. And then depending on that level, we may or may not just round off 43 by doing the same method we did in the last video where we went to the bone yard over here and then walked all the way over. Wow, when you put it into perspective, that's actually a far as fuck walk. Probably is best to maybe bank the bones and then go back and forth from Ferox because you can at least replenish your run doing that. So I died after my second inventory of bones. Thankfully, I didn't lose any bones. I was actually on my way back um, and like level 61 killed me. I have 30 bones left. Honestly, I, I know I'm going back and forth a bit, but I'm probably not going to do that um, and go for the 43 because there's no way we get 43. Um, he might not even be going melee in the fight, and to be honest, even if he did, I probably won't be going protect for melee anyway. So, in these long form challenges, overheads are allowed. We just can't flick overheads, and I have no prayer pots or anything, so I can't keep turning it on and off. So, it's just really not worth going for it. I mean, it'd be great in the progression, but for right now, I don't really need it. I'm gonna head up to Gnome now. I figured we have an hour left. I was kind of unsure what to do. I know I said I want to maybe focus on some quests and get some quests for uh, Dragon Slayer. I could do things like Romeo and Juliet, short, you know, they give five, it's super easy. But a quest that I have to do anyway is the Grand Tree because it gives attack XP and it's a requirement for Monkey Madness, which as you guys know, I'm going melee and I'm sure at some point to bridge the gap between 60 and 70, 
Um, a, a dragon scimitar would be fantastic. And even if we don't spin it, we can easily buy it. I'm sure getting 100k by then won't be too hard. Um, so yeah. But even if I don't end up using a dragon simi for whatever reason, you still get a lot of XP for that quest. It's just a good quest to have done. Uh, but we do need 25 agility. We also will get a mark of grace going for 25 agility. So that will be one more unlock that we can get today or one more spin. And that's the goal, to get one more spin and to get 25 agility. All right, the plan now is going to be the same. I'm going to sell everything I can in my bank. Just anything that is of worth. Like these. Uh, I want to save... I want to save one gold bar. I mean, I could tally grab them now, but I'm going to save one just in case. All this stuff I stole earlier from the hand members as well. Um, that I got from digging for some soil, which was pretty mad. I'm going to start a clues tab here as well. So anything that's needed for a clue, I'm going to go in there. Um, but I'll deal with that some other time. These steel pickaxes sell for like 300 each. I mean, yeah, I've just got to sort of like strip this bank and just see how much money we can get together. Keep one of those steel axes. Oh, I've got all that silk I never sold. Okay, we'll go over to Ardy as well then. That's nice. Um, boom, we got diamonds i'm gonna keep one of them all right one of the first purchases is gonna be an addy full helm here we did get 31 defense boom very nice and then we're gonna make our way down to port sarum or rimmington just so that we can uh, get over to rd easily i probably ugh, i could go there couldn't i uh Ah, we'll do we'll go this way we'll go this way it takes me directly to the rd square so yeah we'll go this way sell this this is gonna sell for like 1.6k i think which would be really nice uh and then we've got all that silk to sell which is like six seven k's worth um so yeah we'll be looking at like a 10k cash stack almost or just over um which would be really nice and i can get myself oh i could get an added chain and falador I might get an Addy Chain over a Mithril Plate body. Mithril Plate is going to cost me more. And is worse. Except for Stab. He's not going to be using Stab. We're going, we're going with it. We're going with it. I'm going to buy an Addy, Addy Chain over, an Addy, over a Myth Plate. No point wasting more money. Alright, sell this bad boy. Boom. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, and then I'm just going to put all this away and we'll grab out the silk and we'll have a load of money. Right, that's 11.7k. Very, very nice. Let's go over to Rewington, run up to Falador. We'll buy the Addy chain um, and then I'm going to get my net and impling jar out. And we are going to get ourselves some gourmet implings and fill out my food for the fight. Right, Wayne, my guy. I'll have one of those Wayne chains. Uh, thank you very much, mate. There's a gourmet impling right there. Go on. Come here. Come here. That's a sign. It's a sign. Come on. Catch it. Catch it, you bastard. Catch it. Yes. Come on. Hmm, bass. Ah, I guess it's... Ah, it's 13 here, wasn't it? It's food for the fight. That was mad. Literally just took out my stuff. And boom, there it was. Right, Cassie. Oh, fuck me. It's even worse than I thought it was. Uh, It's going to have to be an iron square. Fuck it. There you go. Boom. All right, let's tell you to Varrock. All right, buy the Addy Sword. There we go. And that's all our stuff ready for the fight. Uh, we'll bank up here, and then I'll use the crop circle there. Gives us 28 minutes. Not bad. This crop circle is actually pretty beast because it's right by a bank. I'm not even going to bother with any other impling. Um, just got the gourmets selected. Give me those curries. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that is so nice. Oh, this is why I wanted to do the Hunter, guys. I know it seemed like a bit of a nuts plan, but I don't know. There's something about it, you know? There is something about it. Come on. Mm, yeah, you can really follow it up with something huge there. Uh, we don't really need another baby as of right now, but go on then. You're there anyway. And that's six more impling jars for when we need them. Uh, I'm going to use the back wall trick again. It just gives us way more chance of catching them. And of course... Oh, no, no. All right, whatever. Yeah, I'm going to get myself... Usually the best place is like the middle of the back wall. Because obviously there's two gourmet spawns here. And they're just like very likely to run here. Boom. And there's another one. See, I've, I've got this method worked out. Boom. Curry. Huge. Huge. That's why the back wall's so good. Like when they try and fly away, they just hit that back wall and they're still stuck there. 
tuna. I'm expecting to get a lot of those. Anyway, I'll get back to you when we've got a few more. We've got a massive opening, guys. Three gourmets. Oh, there's an easy clue. Very nice. And a curry. Oh, that was a beast. That was a beast clue. Uh, okay, let's drop these. Open. Oh, because I've got the loot saver on. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, that's all good. That's all good. I should probably read this first, shouldn't I? Uh, iron plate legs, oat longbow, emerald amulet. Fuck that. Cool. I should have I should have read that first. Whoops. Oh, well. Oh, my God. Dude, they, like, honestly, they are going so well with the curries right now. Um, I think I'm going to hit a bank. First two gourmets back, curries. Honestly, this is why I wanted the gourmets. Just got three swordfish. Oh, hook, thank you, kebab. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I keep going on about it. Are these so much better than last episode? I know you guys, a lot of you are going to hate this. I just got a fucking grubby key. That's one in 500. One in 500. Uh, obviously, I need 52 thieving to use it. But oh my god, that's insane. That is going to be in the bank for a while, but Jesus. Oh my god, okay. All right, all right. I'm happy about it, but I'm not going to be able to use it for ages, but yeah. Just got another clue as well. We can do that one. Uh, do I want to try and do it? Oh, I've got enough food. I've got enough food. I've got six minutes. Second floor of the Western Tower of... Mm. I don't know if I'm going to get this done, but I'll see if I can get it done. All right, it might be possible. It's in Varrock, the second one. If if we have a two-step cl clue here, we can do it. Maybe it, maybe if another one's in Varrock, I don't know. Ah, bastard. Where's this? PvP arena? This is going to be stupid tight. I genuinely don't know if I'm going to make this. Come on. Jareed, Jeed, come closer. Come closer to me. Come this way. Come on, give me the casket and I'll insta open it. <gasps> go, go, go. <laughs> we did it. We did it. That's insane. <laughs> Collection log slot unlocked in the last second. Now, obviously, the timer would stop anyway. So I can bring it up and I can do it. Oh, my God. That's mad. That's actually mad. All right, let's see. Let's see. Obviously, I'm going to be keeping the Amulet of Fury. I don't want to be changing that. We're going to go ring slot. See if we get anything decent here. <sighs> Come on. Ooh. Ooh, that's not bad. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll happily take that. Uh, we don't get the imbued version. I can imbue it later on if I want to. Um, I just get the base version. If I had the points to imbue it right now, I would get the imbued version. But effectively, what me and Kin said was uh, we can have whatever we get imbued. But if later down the line you can imbue it, then you're welcome to imbue it. So, yeah, that's nice. Uh, we get... I think it's half of all of those. I think it's twos and everything, and then eight range defense. So that's actually a really solid ring. Um, let's get it on the account and have a quick look. So it actually turns out you need 50 strength and defense to wear the granite ring. I didn't know that. So I'm not going to be able to wear it in this episode, but that's okay. I mean, it's still a ring that's going to be helpful. Um, it gives two stab, two slash, two crush, eight range. Um, yeah. I mean, it stays on the account because it was at the end of the episode. They were the two items I had. So I still do get it. Does it actually out for anything decent? Not really. 9k out. I don't know. I think my next spins will probably go into ring because I'd love to pull like a B ring or something like that. So this might be useless. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you need 50 strength and defense. Nowhere near close to that right now. Um, so it's not going to be usable. So, uh, yeah, let me get my setup together and uh, we'll get into this fight. See what's happening. Okay, I may have got a little bit carried away with my episode here. Uh, I got so into the whole, like, getting an item or getting a collection log slot that I forgot to buy any legs. I couldn't have afforded the Addy legs anyway. I actually don't have enough money for it. So I don't know what I would have done. Maybe bought Myth, but then I'm wasting money. I don't know. Maybe I would have got, like, steals or something. I probably would have 
definitely filled it with something. Uh, I thought, oh, I'll just fill it with these studded chaps I have, but I don't have the uh, 20 range to be able to wear them, as you can see there. So, yeah, we're legless for this fight, which um, upsets me a little bit, because obviously I think I'd be going into this fight very strongly. Um, we've got the Excalibur for the spec, so we get that uh, defense bonus. Um, and then the food I've got is just insane. Um I think what I'll do, actually, is I'm going to rearrange this slightly. Yeah, I think the plan is going to be eat from here. Like, from the swordfish to the tuna, maybe the meat pizzas as well. And assess the fight. If it looks like I'm getting it absolutely, like, thrown about, then I probably won't eat this. Just because it's such valuable food. If I had the plate legs, I would. But I've just, I've just hurt myself so badly by not getting plate legs. That, that might cost me the fight here. Um, I mean, we still do have solid stats. Like, we're in the hundreds for Slash and Crush. Um, magic with plus 11. Range with plus 82. So, I mean, I'm still fairly tanky. Um, and, of course, the spec from this is going to put us up to 39 defense as well. So, it like, not all is lost. But I am pretty upset about this. But, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Let's get into it. Let's do it. I just realized I could have taken the spirit tree. You can't use that tree in there, but you can use other trees to get to that tree before you complete the grand tree. Fuck. Told Femi to go fucking scratch. Pick up your own damn boxes. All right, that is 10 agility. So we are making our way up to Draenor and we're going to get that extra unlock. So we have one more hope for a weapon. Maybe more if we get like a lucky random event. It's funny, when I was training with the 12.5k XP before the quest, I had two random events. Two! That could give me a collection log slot. Obviously, I dismissed them because it wasn't in the timer, but it was infuriating. Oh, we just got one. It's funny how the pop-up happens when you jump down because that's when it spawns. Um, so, I mean, we, we of course are going to pick it up. Not that I think I'll ever, ever get graceful in this account, but... After we complete this lap, we're going to go to the bank. Alrighty. Good thing we got a bank right here. Let's pause that timer. Going to be our last spin of the episode. Will we be able to use it in the fight? Let's see. Dang, man. Five rolls. Five rolls and nothing to show for it. All right, so we have less than 12 minutes now. I only have 800 GP on the account. I'm just going to do some thieving here because we're just currently at this location. And honestly, there's nothing else like really thieve for money with 11 minutes left. Um, so we're going to thieve men until we probably have like four minutes left, maybe five. I'll probably have at five to make sure you have enough time. Head down to Port Serum and just buy the best food I can buy with the money I have. At the very least, we should be able to get a full inventory of tuna. All right, so we have 1.2k. I'm just going to sell this shit out of my bank. I meant to sell that long sword before. Completely forgot. 1.8. Fuck yeah. Okay, I mean, uh, I think we should pretty much be able to get lobsters with this now, but we'll buy slowly. We have time. We'll make sure we spend all of this on the best combination of HP that we can get at this food store. All right, guys, we only managed to get two upgrades this fight, the Addy Sword and the Iron Kite. I guess three if you want to count the food, because food is a huge upgrade from the last fight. We don't have kebabs anymore, which honestly are horrible. The average heal is decent on them, but you can easily eat two that don't heal any or lower your stats. Like, two bad kebabs in a row and you're pretty much dead and you're, you know, fighting for your life. But uh, this is the gear setup. Now, now this challenge as a whole is going to be funny. Because obviously the collection log slots in this episode didn't pay off and I could have been like, oh, I could have just went to Sand Crabs the entire episode and I would have had a better outcome because I would have trained a lot more because my stats didn't go nearly as high as I want them to go this episode. But there's a lot of fun in chasing those upgrades and I know if we keep chasing those upgrades but being smart about it while getting our stats in the process, we're going to have good stats and good gear by the end of this challenge. So... Next episode, I think we're going to quest. I don't really know yet, but uh, let's just see what the fight's like, and I'll see you guys there, and we'll assess after the fact. Kiddos. Hello, hello. Oh, <laughs> damn. 
Oh damn! Oh, how was that? How was that? I don't want to. I, I I I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to really? feel. Really? Okay. I don't know if I got unlucky. Well, I know I got unlucky a little bit. I I don't know if it's expected to get this unlucky with, you know, the randomizer being capped at fifty and only being right. four hours. You yeah, know, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's hard to gauge at all. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Well, uh, let's start off with a combat reveal as we always do, and okay. uh, we'll go from there, eh? Count us in. All right, three. Two, one, go. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay I caught up. up. I caught up. I was worried you were going to yeah, be like up. 54 or something. And I'd just be no, like, I mean, smoke. I did kind of train all episode, but it, it wasn't like sand crab training. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All okay. of my XP, I'll tell you right now, went into a, actually attack strength and defense. I split it oh, up. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I went a different route. Um, mine went into agility, herb law, and prayer. Prayer, really? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I thought I'll get myself a little boost. I didn't really know what to do with the last bit of my XP, so I just put it into prayer. Um, so yeah, okay, all right, all right, different all right. routes, different routes. Um, I'm just gonna send you my stats. Yeah, then. cool. I'll send you mine as well. Okay. Okay. Mm, Twenty-one agility. I can 24. see the difference in me putting my XP into combat and you not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm like filled out in different areas now, aren't I? Yeah. Uh. Okay. All right. I'm. I don't feel too bad about it because you're not like a crazy amount ahead in terms of combat stats. I mean, it's gonna come down to gear. One hundred percent. One hundred. I mean, I have a lot more HP. Yeah. Which don't worry, guys. That will. I guess they can't see. I need to regen <laughs> like five <laughs> HP. Um. But yeah, the, uh, we get the freebie HP when we put it into combat. So yeah, that's that difference. Which is definitely helpful. I mean, Link. I also trained all episode, but uh, you know, it it wasn't like uh, hyper focused. Uh, like sand crab training. I was going for collection log slots. Right. I mean, I I didn't train at all this episode. Um. I don't know, it just feels very inefficient right now with the gear we've got. And I'm just thinking, like, if I can pull, like, a Dragon Simi or something, I'll train so much faster when it comes to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I don't I, know. Yeah, definitely. It's, 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 I mean, I was I was weighing a lot in my head, like, should I even be rolling for weapons if I could just go to fucking Zami Warriors and maybe get 1, one in 50? You know, there's a lot yeah. going through my head. and I think that's the, the good thing about what's going on here is, like, there isn't really a meta, because you and me have never done this, and no one's ever done this shit, you know? So it's hard yeah. to know what, what's going to be best. And then on top of that, you need to get lucky on the randomizer for it to even, like, pan out correctly, you know? Oh, yeah, you could easily do 30 spins and get fucking jack shit, which is honestly terrifying. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it's terrifying. 100%. So. Right, dude. Um, Yeah, I guess we get into the reveal. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's Hit me with it. an item, bro, and let's, uh, let's help, see. Help. help me up. Okay. All right. Let's yeah. see if he... Addy. Ooh, Adamantine. okay. Adamantine. Okay, okay, no upgrade on the helm yet. Let's go shield. <laughs> yeah, okay. upgrade on my shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to go visit Cassie, mate. You know, I, I there was no other better shield or anything. It's a shame. Ooh, but... I, I think I got mine, yeah, from, from Hill Giants. Mm -hmm. I was killing Hill Giants. Nah, That's how I got bones. 34 prayer. His big yep. collection. All right. <laughs> well, All the right. collection no more. <laughs> well, I think I do have some, but I use most of it for prayer. Okay. So I do have 34 for incredible reflexes this time. Nice. Okay. All right. Uh, Your pick, mate. Uh, let's go legs. Yeah, I fucked up here and I forgot to buy legs. <laughs> I I'm so because I was scared you were gonna rock the full Addy Iron. That was uh, the plan. Combo. That was the plan. Um, but actually, I didn't have enough money when I look back on it, so it probably would have been like Myth or Steel or something. But uh, yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, okay. Let's go Necklace Kins. I want to redeem myself here. Build the Nomington. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> That's why I still feel okay about this, even with leaving my uh, uh, legs. <laughs> it's, it's the accuracy on that that scares I me. Know. Like, the defense is insane as well, but it's the accuracy that gets my, my head in a spin. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> uh, let's go body. Okay. All right. got, all right. Still rocking the myth? Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. yep, 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 yep. Uh, Unfortunately. 
Let's go. Cape. Don't have a cape. Boom. Priscilla, mate, she's waiting for you. Literally for just me. can't be bothered to waste <laughs> like a minute to fucking do You've that. You've got to be going to, uh, to Baroque at some point. Well, yeah, point. it's not on my mind. I mean, you have more important things on the mind than fucking <laughs> Like playing with gnomes and shit, you fucking weird guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Fuck Gloves. Boom. Boom. Uh, boots. Don't have any. Did you get any collection slots? Yeah, I got five, Link. Where are they? Not worn. I can tell you that right wow, now. Ah, okay. All right. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Very odd. Very oh, odd. not interesting. Not interesting at all. <laughs> uh, what, they all shit? Oh, like, uh, well, let's do the weapon reveal. Okay, all right. right. First of all, did you spin weapon? Is this like a crazy no, weapon no, you have? No, I spin. I span amulet and ring, and I'll tell you right now, I got a granite ring, but that needs 50 strength and 50 right. defense, so I'm not able to wear it. I'm I'm just gonna throw up my weapon because I I, mean, I I'll did, throw up mine as well. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I did. Uh, this is actually probably gonna be a close fight, although I think you're gonna have the food. It depends if you're doing those implings or not. But anyways, I. I, I I don't know if it was silly or not, and every spin, I was just thinking, like, you know, I, I was going for the one-tick dream. Right. And so, just really quick, because I know the viewers just watched it, but I'll explain it to you. I killed Hill Giants for Giant Key. I killed Moss Giants for Mossy Key. I went to oh, smart. the... Oh, smart. I went to the Catacombs. Not the Catacombs. Whatever the fuck that place is called right behind us. Oh, stronghold. The stronghold of security, and I got two pieces of the scepter, yeah, and then yeah. I get a mark of grace. So th those are my five. Right. Okay. Those are my five. Mm -hmm. So they're all like relatively quick. I was all training while I was doing it. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know what? This is really slow XP. I'm gonna just try to YOLO. I was like, even if I get like a room two H, I'm like, that's better, a lot better than oh, this. Oh wow. I anything. So I put five spins into weapon. Fucking hell. Five spins, Link, and I ended on like a blackjack defensive. Uh, and I was like, I don't even want it. I don't even want it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, My thought process was because we've got the level cap, the only thing that's going to help me realistically right now is a ring or an amulet. So I was just going to keep spinning ring and amulet until I got like a B ring, amulet of fury, blood fury, blah, 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 that sort of shit. Right. I. My... Do you know how I'm good a blood fury episodes. would be? Oh, good at... <laughs> and even when it runs it out, be. you just get a fury back after. It's fucking mad, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck. So, uh, yeah, no, I got I got mad lucky. And then obviously the ring is, I don't think I'll end up using it. Because by the time we get to, I get to that level, I'm sure I'll have like a B ring or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I kind of have the opposite thought. We're thinking like, like a, I feel like at least a glory isn't too hard to get. So yeah. I was like... I I mean it's it's funny because like if it paid out for me I bet everyone in the comments be like Rarg with the oh, with one, the six strats one hundred percent oh you one tick the the one hundred like, rune battle axe and you know it, so. the opposite could be for me I could be here with a stole and a fucking you know <laughs> ring I can't wear like the granite ring so I mean that's the that's the yeah. thing on the randomizer yeah. isn't it you know but that's the fun of it yeah. I'm I'm glad we had different mindsets the RNG least. will certainly swing at some point Kins and you'll turn up with Let's like a fucking so. god sword or some shit you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All let's right. Hope so, let's dude. grab an inventory and see what's going on. Right, Kins. Cheeky little trade here. Let's see what's I going down. Also, forgot to tell you that I am bringing this for the. Oh, I'm bringing that as well. Defensive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Look at us both trying to be sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. Uh. My my inventory is in a very specific way, so I'm gonna have to ruin some of the good stuff. But fuck it. Here right. I'm just gonna throw all my shit up. I'm not gonna. I have very basic stuff. <laughs> uh, I ran out of money, and I was just. I went to the shop in right. uh, Brimhaven because none sense. of my plans today involved any money or anything that wasn't like a collection log. Makes sense. Obviously, the very Excalibur is the last one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. I gotta just hope that your lack of legs isn't enough to. Um... I mean, it's a big miss. It's a big miss, dude. You got. I yeah. It's. 
I, I, it's, it's gonna come down to how accurate that fury makes you. Plain yeah. and simple. Yeah. That's gonna, that sure. fury is gonna be the deciding factor here, I think. All right, I'm gonna there spec go. out Do the it. Game. Let's go. Two second warning, bro. Go. I don't know what I've got my quick press set to, Ooh. guys. Uh, turn that off and we'll just flick. Offensive. Kin's taking a, a lovely little lead here. Need it, dude. Need it. With with your food advantage. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you that. Come on. Oh. Okay. okay. Oh, what am I doing? I just ate a shark. Fuck. Lovely Fuck. stuff. Might as well call it a tuna. Oh, my God. Okay, nice. Oh, Link, you just, you, Link, you just took some damage. You want to pop another shark real quick? <laughs> no, I'm all right, looking right. kind of hungry over there. I should have... I should have sorted my inventory the other way around, guys. I should have put tuna at the top and good stuff at the bottom. I'm an idiot. Hey, guys. It's Link while editing this video. Uh, this fight took 15 minutes, so there is going to be some speeding up, especially when we talk about the bollocks me and Kins like to talk about during these fights. Like, we talk about shredded wheat and favorite cereals and stuff. Like, the stuff you guys really don't need to hear. So, yeah, there's going to be some speeding up here and there. But, uh, yeah, enjoy the fight. It's the lack of lay, dude. If you lose this, it's the lack of oh, legs. Oh, one hundred percent. Like even steel legs, just like a plus. You know, oh, let's eat. Let's eat. Yeah, be careful there, kiddos. Well, unless you have like dragon claws on you, I should be alright. <laughs> you want me to use dragon claws for six HP? <laughs> it's it's actually really funny. If you were bitching about a fury before, I can't wait until you have higher gear on these accounts. <laughs> Uh, oh, Luke's gonna start dragging me to Tazar again for fights. I am. That's where we're going when we start having nah, a good shit. I, I love the thrill of seeing, like, you know, a whip <laughs> on the ground. I'm gonna start getting into my expensive food in a minute. I mean, hey, even if, like, you win, but I take a lot of those curries out. And a shark. You wanna eat a shark no, again? Right I'm now? so sad of the sharks, bro. <laughs> It's a three-noted, rare, one-in-a-hundred drop, and I fucking eaten one of them. <sighs> Come on. how, how long does it take you to get that food as well? Uh, like, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, enough to, like, impact the episode, Yeah, though, but so. as the agility in Hunter goes up, that should get cut yeah. constantly, and my magic's going up as well. I'll hopefully be able to start fucking using some spells on those bastards. You know what they're like. They love taking the piss. I, I know what they're like. They love taking the piss. Come on. Oh. Yes. Eat. Eat that shark. Nah. Eat the curry. <laughs> the sharks. To be fair, the curries are only one in ten, so they're not that hard to get hold of, you know. Come on. I had curry for the first time in England. Hated it. I'm going to get so much <laughs> shit for that. I'm going to get... I, I'm excited. I like telling people I don't like curry because they get so fucking defensive about it. What about... Uh... I remember talking about like Wheatos or something or shredded wheat, and he was like, "We don't have that in the US." And it was like three hundred comments of people being, "Yes, we do." Rugs talking well, shit. <laughs> I I forgot if it's a case of we don't call it that, or it's like just some shit I've never seen before, or it's not it's not like it's where I live. Never seen before, because everyone Probably. called it shredded wheat in the older. This is bad. This is bad, guys. Is it though, Link? I mean. This is wh wh who whoever takes this, the fight's close, bro. You yeah, know? yeah, like insane. And this is actually oh very worrying. How much more? You are so is inaccurate. <laughs> Man, you have a fury. I don't get it. I'm gonna eat a full just to freak him out, scare him a little bit, <sighs> knock his socks off. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. I. You over it? <gasps> he's no, on the no, sharks no, now. Is, now he's perfect, on the sharks. That was a perfect date. Tell me, tell me it's a shark. Tell me it's a shark. Uh, I won't tell you any of the stuff. I will not tell you any of the stuff. Tell me. Oh, I just regen to full, bro. Like, okay, it's gonna say hit me, so it didn't. <laughs> it didn't look like I overate there. No way, he's out. No, he's he's not. He's not come out. on, come on. Hit, hit. Put him down. Put him down. Hit. Come on. Hit. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Hit. Keep going. Where was this Hit. train earlier? He's got to eat. Oh, he's out. I am out, Link. <laughs> no, you're I not. No, you're not. Ooh, Aim at a Fury. How? <laughs> How after 15 minutes are we both 13. out at the same time? 
13 HP! And Link, I am 32 XP from attack level. Ah. <laughs> Lovely. It's my Kate. first death as well. I'm in fucking death's fucking domain. Oh, that's but... lovely. All right. Bees and G's. Next episode coming way quicker than this one did because of all the mishaps with YouTube. It was a little bit later, but we are going to be right back on this way quicker. So we will catch you in the next episode. Don't forget to go check out Kins' channel as well. we got another PvP up over there. So, uh, yeah, we will catch you over there.